This video will instruct you on the use of GF Central Plastic SureTap Kit. Welcome to the SureTap Tapping Toolkit training video. Here's what it looks like in its rolling case. The whole kit weighs roughly 38 pounds, case included. What you're about to view is a basic introduction to the use of the SureTap tapping system. This system is custom designed for use on polyethylene. It's not designed for use on steel or cast iron. This video is not a substitute or replacement for the detail covered in the SureTap operation manual. For instructions on using the SureTap to tap purge fittings, consult the SureTap manual. Further, we will not detail the electrofusion process for the VersaTap fittings or the fusion and tapping of the Central Plastics Purge Blackhawk style fitting. For instructions on using the SureTap to tap purge fittings, consult the SureTap manual. For instructions on how to fuse either the VersaTap or purge fittings, you must be properly trained in electrofusion joining. In addition, when using this equipment in live natural gas or any other volatile gases or fluids, the operator must follow the steps to remediate static discharge potential and wear the appropriate PPE as prescribed by the LDC, grid owner, or your employer. Finally, while this video may include a reference to equipment that is customarily used in conjunction with the SureTap kit, this video is not an endorsement of or instructional with regard to those third-party products. Cap and Plug Removal Once the fitting is properly installed, the first step is to remove the fitting cap and plug. Remove the cap as shown and connect the plug installation removal tool. We recommend that you secure the plug to the tool by turning the detent wheel clockwise until it bottoms out. At this point, the plug will be secured firmly connected to the plug installation removal tool. You'll note the operator in this case did not engage the detent as recommended. Now, turn the handle counterclockwise and remove the plug from the fitting. Pressure test. With the cap and plug removed, you're ready to conduct the pressure test. This can be accomplished in one of two ways. One option is to use the GF Central Plastics Electrofusion Pressure Test Kit and the High Volume Pressure Test Cap. With the fitting's cap and plug removed, thread the test cap on the fitting hand tight. Connect the pressure test gauge, valve, and air hose and add the air pressure as prescribed by the grid owner's instruction and close the valve to hold the pressure. Once the required pressure test time has elapsed, bleed off the pressure and remove the test cap. An alternate option is available for use on the VersaTap fittings, is to use one or both of the threaded and plugged ports found on the adapter beneath the knife valve. Begin by carefully threading the knife valve adapter onto the fitting. In this case, we've removed a single plug from the fitting adapter and threaded in a 1 half inch threaded pipe nipple and hydraulic rated quick connect adapter with hydraulic quick connect and combination of gauge and quick connect valve. Tighten it to seal using the spanner component of the combination hot tap, spanner, open end wrench. Once this is installed and sealed, close the knife valve and pressure up the fitting to the prescribed gauge pressure and close the pressure test valve. Once the fitting meets the stand up pressure test requirement, release the pressure on the fitting by opening the quick connect valve. If the pressure test fails to hold pressure, do not use the fitting unless corrective measures can accomplish a full seal. Tapping the main in conjunction with the VersaTap fittings. Once the integrity of the fitting is confirmed by the pressure test, you're ready to begin the process of tapping the main. So, thread the knife valve and adapter onto the fitting and tighten with the spanner wrench to seal. Do not use Teflon tape or any other sealing compound on the plastic threads. With the collet nut on the tapping tool loose, push the shaft onto the tapping device far enough to expose the quick connect. Retract the quick connect collar and thread the cutter onto the end of the tapping tool. When the end of the threads are near bottom out, release the quick connect and continue tightening the cutter until the quick connect spring device locks the cutter into place. Then take the hot tap assembly and set it squarely on the adapter. The quick release nut on the hot tap assembly should thread cleanly on the adapter. Be careful not to cross thread the nut on the adapter. With the nut hand tight, complete the tightening process with the spanner wrench. Next, check to make sure the cutter drive is fully retracted by using the small closed hex portion of the combination wrench and turning it counterclockwise until the top positive stop is reached. If this is not done, it is possible to run out of the travel before 
before accomplishing a complete tap on the main. Open the knife valve and with the collet nut loose, depress the brake lever and press the shaft of the arbor tube down until the cutter contacts the main. Make sure this contact is firmly grounded. Tighten the collet nut with the open end hex wrench segment of the combination wrench. Now, mark the shaft with a Sharpie marker as close to the top of the collet nut as possible. Connect the closed-end hex section of the combination wrench to the top of the shaft and begin to turn clockwise. If after three or four turns there's very little to no resistance, the cutter may not be fully seated on the main. Back out the cutter shaft, loosen the collet nut, and reseat the cutter. If the original mark is no longer visible, remark the shaft and tighten the collet nut. On the other hand, if the Sharpie mark rises while tapping, the collet nut may not be tight enough, or the cutter may be too dull. In the prior case, reverse the cutter drive to its top positive stop, loosen the collet nut, and return the cutter to its contact point on the main. Tighten the collet nut and reinitiate the tapping process. If the cutter is dull, replace it. The low torque cutter should cut through the main with minimal effort. You'll feel the resistance drop once the cutter penetrates the main, but continue turning the wrench clockwise until the shaft bottoms out on its positive stop. Once that happens, reverse the shaft until it hits the positive stop at the top. Now, make sure the knife valve is completely open and loosen the collet nut. Place one hand on the shaft of the tapping tool and the thumb of the other hand on the brake lever. Depress the brake lever. The back pressure of the live gas will cause the shaft to rise. If little or no back pressure is present, depress the brake and lift the shaft with your opposite hand. Once the shaft is fully retracted, close the knife valve. With the knife valve closed, depress the pressure relief valve. This should make the removal of the tapping device easy and safe. It's also a way to confirm the seal on the knife valve. With the tapping tool removed, the knife valve is ready for use with complementary equipment. As an example, here we're installing the Jameson Directional Insert tool. Note, we've replaced the 2-inch NTP threaded connection that comes stock on the Jameson tool with a slightly shorter launch tube assembly that includes a 5A female stainless swivel and quick connect nut. The quick connect feature is specifically designed to mate with the SureTap valve and makes connecting to and disconnecting from the Jameson tool much easier and faster. The Jameson tool allows the insertion of a fiber optic camera and tracer rod in both directions in live gas mains. Other examples of tools that may be used with the SureTap equipment include, but may not be limited to, the ULC Robotics Fiber Optic Camera System, the Goodman Bagging System, Purge or Bypass Transition Fitting, Siphoning Equipment, etc. In each case, connections customized to mate these applications with the SureTap adapter would be required. Again, the mention of these third-party accessories are not necessarily an endorsement. Replacing the completion plug and cap. When the secondary operations are complete, remove the insertion equipment in accordance with the manufacturer's instructions. Make sure the fitting plug is securely connected to the completion plug installation tool. Retract the shaft on this tool and thread the quick connect nut to the top of the knife valve and tighten it with the spanner wrench. Open the knife valve. The back pressure from the live gas or fluid will require you to press down on the T-handle of the installation tool to contact the threads of the plug to the threads of the fitting. Once contact is made, continue pressing down and turn the handle clockwise five or six times. At this point, there's enough thread engagement so that the downward pressure on the T-handle is no longer needed. Hit the pressure relief valve. This will release the pressure inside the tool. Continue tightening the plug and intermittently hitting the relief valve until gas pressure is no longer present. Then turn the wheel on the T-handle counterclockwise until it stops. Press down on the wheel to release the detent. Remove the completion plug tool and the knife valve assembly with the spanner wrench. Make sure the plug is flush with the top of the fitting, then replace the cap.
Removing the PE coupon from the stainless cutter. The coupon removal tool allows you to remove the coupon without damaging your cutter. Some customers have reported that the same cutter has been used more than 50 times before becoming overly dull. Take the cutter and insert it into the tool. When properly seated against the base of this tool and the two holding bolts, the cutter face should be flush with the end of the tool. Look at the threaded shaft and inspect for damage, as this can cause seizing between the shaft and the cutter. In the end of the shaft, there is a dual point designed to keep the shaft of the tool in the center of the coupon. If, during the removal of the coupon, the shaft hits off-center of the coupon, back up and recenter it. Otherwise, the torque can become so great that it damages the tool. Insert the shaft of the tool and thread the shaft into the back of the cutter by turning the T-handle clockwise. Continue until the coupon and plastic shavings are removed from the cutter. Note, the first coupon removal from a new cutter is usually the most difficult. However, with use, the coupon retention grooves on the ID of the cutter will become less pronounced, requiring less torque. Final word. Again, this video simply covers the basics. It does not cover maintenance and periodic lubrication of the tools in the kit. Both are critical. It also does not cover PPE or static electricity remediation. Some of this information is in the SureTap operation manual, and some will be defined by the grid owner, LDC, or employer. Study these procedures and do them right. Pay attention and be safe. Congratulations! You've completed the SureTap training video. For comprehensive instructions, please refer to the EF installation manual, or for more information on George Fisher Central Plastics EF Fusion System and the assembly of components, visit our website at centralplastics.com. Additionally, hands-on training can be scheduled via the website or by contacting your local GF representative.